we're going in. We're going to go 365 day devotional. Let's see. Uh, Unexpected Majesty, Matthew 25, 40. All right. So uh, 365 day devotional. Max Lucado's book, God is with you every day. If you truly believe that, raise your hand. Give me a hallelujah. Give me a, one of those loud Jesus. If you want to be the Jesus screamer at a concert, you have your opportunity this Saturday. Skillet and... Oh my God, what's their other name? Because I'm going. Uh, David Ramos Suarez has purchased me tickets. I bought him tickets for wrestling. And he has paid me back by bringing me to a concert, a Christian concert. Should be wild. Especially with the skillet. That's going to be wild. See if Jesus shows up. Cool. Max this book, God is with you every day. We've got Mr. Ralph as co-piling. I don't think he wants to work today, though. He doesn't have to. He's a cat. He's uh, retired. I think as soon as they're born, they're retired. Uh, I don't know. He can do whatever he wants. Good cat. All right. So let's see. This will be Unexpected Majesty. Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for me. No, 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 no. Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Matthew 25, 40. You never know when you're serving an angel. I can get all scripture on there, but when you're among angels and they're around you, and they're there to help you and guide you and protect you, but when you're serving an angel... And uh, it's unexpected. So treat everybody. Uh, the world view, I try to say treat everybody like uh, your grandma, grandpa, mom, or dad, or brothers and sisters, and that unconditional love. But you never know. If you got an undercover boss, even greater than that is an angel. <sighs> so be good with that. 2540. So treat everybody the way that Jesus would treat people. And respond the way that Jesus would respond. And there's plenty of examples in the uh, New Testament on how Jesus responded. Uh, so, to learn from that. Cool. Okay. Good, 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 good. At 7.51 a.m., January 12th, 2007, a young musician took his position against a wall in Washington, D.C. metro station. He opened the violin case, removed his instrument, threw a few dollars and pocket change in the case as seed money, and began to play. He played for the next 43 minutes. He performed six classical pieces. During that time, 1,097 people passed by. They tossed in money to the total of 3217. Of the 1,097 people, seven, only seven, paused longer than 30 seconds. No, pause longer than 60 seconds. And of the seven, one, only one, recognized the violinist as Joshua Bell. Three days prior to this metro appearance, Bell filled Boston Symphony Hall. His talents can command $1,000 a minute. That day in the subway station, he barely earned enough to buy a cheap pair of shoes. But no one expected majesty in such a context. Shoe shines stand to one side, kiosks to the other. This was a work day. Who had time to notice beauty in the midst of busyness? Most did not. Most of us will someday realize that we didn't either. From the perspective of heaven, we'll look back on these days, these busy cluttered days, and realize that was Jesus playing the violin. That was Jesus wearing the ragged clothes. That was Jesus in the orphanage, in the jail, in the cardboard shanty. The person needing my help was Jesus. What can we do for Jesus? Oh, man. Obedient every day. Totally obedient. Everybody is sent into your life for a purpose. God controls all things. He created all things, controls all things. Uh, everybody. Every appointment. Every meeting is appointed by God. I used to think of it as like, at first I thought of it like, you grew up uh, playing Nintendo or Zelda, I mean us that are 30 or 40 years old, playing Zelda and you walk from here to here and you go talk to this person, talk to this person, or video games that they have some type of knowledge or wisdom or some kind of trinket that you needed to buy and you could buy it and it would help you on your journey to beat the board. Uh, 
if this is a big arcade game, you want to pass it and know that everybody that you come in contact with has that key to get into the next step. Uh, or you hold that key for them of getting to the next step and they need to be courageous to ask you or you need to be courageous and ask them and offer it to them. Uh, offer the salvation. Offer whatever knowledge that you get. You don't have to go charging people for stuff or setting up this and that. Just say, what do you need? What do you want me to tell you? The best piece of information, of course, that you could tell them is about the gospel and salvation in Christ Jesus. But, uh, but you can also, if you have some type of knowledge on something, uh, even if it's out of your scope of practice or uh, some type of experience, it wouldn't hurt to, to kind of, in a general sense, kind of say, hey, this works or that works or you should go see this person or go do this. Uh, people are looking for that. The angels are looking for that. God is watching you. So we become more like Jesus in everything that we do and everything that we say. Uh, don't ever become too busy and miss it. Man, I've said that in so many devotionals because myself personally, I'm trying to bless somebody too. Well, I'm looking for something in somebody. It's been a, a long interview process, I guess. Only my codes really knows what's going on. <laughs> a long, hard, strenuous interview process. People don't know. They don't know what they're, if they're being interviewed or if they're even, if they even applied. But uh, there's only a few qualified applicants, and we got to weed those out to one. So God is waiting for you to do something, and to say something, and take care of His people. Like I said before, we are the shepherds. Well, He's the shepherds for us, and we are the sheep, and He will lead us, and we know His voice. So. But we have to take care of our sheep too. We have to. These are our brothers and sisters, whether they're lost or not. We have to get them back on track. And we hold that knowledge. All of us holds that knowledge on something. So if there is something unique, some gift, some talent, some purpose that you think you have, put it out there. Uh, life is about networking, really, and the people you know, the relationships that you have. And... As Kel's mom said, man, you just need to be transparent and honest. And, and that takes courage, courage sometimes. You have to be patient and obedient and be smart about it too. And uh, wait on God on some things and pray. But we need to have courage. I'm really, I guess speaking to myself, if I go back and ever watch these videos that I say, where was I at that point in my life? And uh, it's courage. Just be yourself yourself I guess what's the worst that can happen sometimes right right it's fine so all right 365 day devotional that was a uh, John 20 25 40 truly I tell you whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine you did for me uh, my big thing that is very simple to do if you see a brother and sister thirsty or hungry are you uh, or you think they might be definitely offer them some people aren't good receivers but they need to be better at receiving because if you can't receive that stuff how are you going to receive stuff from god blessings that'll show up in people that will offer you stuff and that you think you're undeserving of it but why not i mean some of us are very generous with what we have because we're called to be generous i mean uh yeah yeah it's cool it works it's uh 100% guarantee. Truly. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, no, this is not a good video. Mr. Ralph is cleaning again. And Ray, look. That's Mr. Ralph. I like his little pink belly. See, from last night, you don't want to touch his pink belly. Whoa. Who was that? Hi, Mr. Ralph. What are you doing? The world is watching. Uh-oh. He's going to say lap time. No lap time, Mr. Ralph. Nope, go back to cleaning. I noticed you were very dirty. No, you're not. It's a very clean cat. Cool. And remember, all you guys have gifts and talents and purposes. Especially these kids, man. These kids are so gifted. So gifted. No matter what age, man, whatever. All you gotta do is just love on them. 
love on them and tell them to be themselves. But first we have to raise them good and bring them up on the Word of God so they know this stuff. Once they know these truths and provinces of the Bible, uh, man, these kids are blessings. Uh, there's so many things that are just a blessing, just family members, a wife. A wife is a blessing. And anytime you get stuff like that, you have to take care of it. It is yours to take care of. Uh, so it's pretty awesome. So, yeah. So remember, it comes down to loving your God first and then unconditional love uh, for everybody. Loving your neighbor as yourself. Uh, loving your God first with all your heart. Mind, soul, body, strength, all that stuff, and then loving your neighbor as yourself. So cool. And we see that all the time. I see it all the time. People are, wow, beyond, beyond amazing at loving one another. But we're taking it to the next step this week. You know, I mean, there's walls people put up. There, are, I think the world puts up boundaries, but it's not necessary. Uh, there's just this fear. Uh, but when God is for you, who can be against you? I truly believe that. I mean, this world is meant for you. It really is. The world is yours for the taking. What are you going to do? So cool. These people are your peoples. These are my people. So cool. Uh, I got nothing else to say about that. Okay, if I had to, this would be a book. Of, this is uh, for uh, <laughs> Ray. Here you go, Ray. Here's a good book for you. Retire sooner than you think. <laughs> I read it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Working on it. I don't know. It's not necessarily retiring. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. You just want to be comfortable and in peace and joy. And the only thing that really does that is uh, being in a close, close relationship with God. Pursuing God every day because you're being pursued. Uh, retiring is nice. Having financial stability and security is super nice. Who said it? Uh, it's kind of like oxygen. You kind of need it. Uh, a little bit of it, a little bit. But uh, with God, man, it just it just seems to work. Everything flows so nice. Uh, it's pretty cool. So, so retire with God up in heaven. It's going to be fun. All right. Love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. I'm, uh, I'm not going to talk anymore. I think I got to go. 12 minutes, 37 seconds. That's incredible. All right. Love you guys. Bye.